Okay, so here we go. This is the um, the majority of the engine put together. Um, there are, I've got the, obviously the carburetor there, um, the cylinder head just there. Oh, sorry, the cylinder and the cylinder head there, um, and the gearbox and the crankshaft and that on the bottom just there. Um, well, my, there is actually some chrome bits to go on there, um, like the, um, the the bell that goes on the end just there for the um, the bell mouth for the um, that. <laughs> Come back to me in a minute. Um, and a lot of just like um, chrome work to go around the cylinder head, that sort of thing. Um, valve springs, that sort of thing. That's all got to go on there. But what I'll do first. Um, is I'll actually go away and paint this engine, paint it all up, and then I can um, weather it. And then from there, what I'll do is um, I'll then put all the, the chrome stuff um, on to the engine, just like that. So now I've got the engine all finished and painted, um, just a bit like that. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and um, on camera I'll put all the, the other bits and pieces on there um, from the chrome valve lifters and the chrome um chrome bell houses and that the uh, bell mouths and that sort of stuff um so i'm just going to grab the bits and pieces for that one um okay do, do, do. here we go what i'm actually going to do is because <coughs> the chrome <coughs> excuse me the chrome doesn't actually stick all that well to the uh to the plastic so i'm going to just Get my when I get my eyes from Morton and just scratch the the chrome off a little bit, just right off the bit where it's going to go in, just so it gives it a bit more adhesive, to, something to stick to, you know. Um, okay, so twenty seven. Just turn the engine over. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So twenty seven is this one. So as you can see there, hang on, I'll do it just excuse me, wait a minute, and what I'll do is just take the flash off of this bit. So as you can see there, um, there's a little like long bit just here. And that's actually gonna glue into the engine. So what I'm gonna do is just scrape the chrome off just so it'll stick in there. Um, stick in there the engine just there. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So I'm just gonna scrape this off like this. It's just taking the shine off of it, and it will just help it. I'm not take it off the shine off the, the long stalk bit, and it'll just help it stick a little bit better. Um, I'm not actually going to take anything off the any chrome off the top, um, off the valve spring itself, just because you don't really need to. <laughs> um, I actually think that the chrome that comes with the kit is actually suffice. So I'm just going to. And with, it, with doing something this small, you wouldn't actually need to, to put it in some... I mean, a lot of people have, um, have been known to bleach them or do different sorts of things just to get the chrome off, but well, I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is, because I think that's perfectly, perfectly suffice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, finish this up, finish the chrome springs up, just so I just thought I'd show that bit on camera. Um, you're going to go away, finish the chrome parts, and then come back in and show you where I've got to. Okay, so what I've got here, <coughs> I went ahead and piped on a few bits of, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. Done a few bit of piping, pipe work, that sort of stuff. Um, and I've actually weathered up the engine a little bit. Let me just see if I'm going to focus there. Um, I don't know if you, that way you can see that, guys. Um, okay, let me just see if I can get this to focus a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so I've actually weathered up the engine a little bit there. Um, I was watching a stream the other day, um, and it kind of escaped me who it was. It was, um, I think it was uh, Charlie Brook Junction. Um, I was on there, and it, uh, I actually was asked how I weather my engines. Um, so what I'm actually going to show you now is how I weather, in, weather engines. Um, one trick I use is um, Phil Flory's Dark Dirt Wash, especially for this sort of bike, because the engine would be very, very exposed, uh, brake dust, or, I mean, old bikes used to leak quite a lot anyway. Um, so, <clears throat> I found the best thing for that is Dark Dirt Wash. Um, another technique I do use, obviously for weathering engines, that sort of stuff, 
is uh, not Mac, not coffee, um, Nestle Gold Coffee. It's actually ink. Um, this is an ink and water wash in there. Um, what I usually do with that is um, I get a bit of brown ink and a bit of black ink, mix them together, um, and you get sort of like a nice oily, grimy, used oil sort of colour. Um, so all I do is literally just um, pop it into the, the heat sink of the cylinder head like I've got around there. Um, so what I do, I've, I've left this side um, clean, so I'll show you what I'll do. So literally what you do is you get your, your wash, anything that you're going to use. Um, and you just, all you do, oops, it seems my brush has glued itself to the table. <laughs> um, so all you do is you just get a generous amount of wash and just get it all in the veins, get it nice and flowing. There we go, just a bit like that. Um, the, good, the, the, the ideal stuff about the, the floury dark dirt wash is that Okay, I don't know if I can get it to focus forever, but on the top there, it's sort of like a, an oily, dirty colour. So this is the colour of, this would be the sort of colour of an old, dirty, oily engine. The sort of old oil and that sort of colour. So that sort of weirdy, browny, blacky colour. Um, blacky, blacky, yellowy, browny sort of colour. Um, so this what I do is I just smother the engine in the wash. Again, you can do this with oil. Oil will... Um, uh, sorry, oils as well. Oils is very good. Um, mixing an oil, oil wash. Um, that works very well too. Um, so we do is with, with that technique, you just again get some brown, some brown paint and some black paint, mix them together with a bit of terps or whatever sort of thinners you want to be using, um, and you just be very liberal with it. Um, like you can see here, I'm just making sure I get everything, all the areas and getting it what I really want to do is get it just so it settles in all like on this bit here so it settles in all the the little hard to get hard to get areas so it, which would be in there around your valve springs that sort of stuff um, so because so, this with, with the, the beauty of this engine is that it'd be out in the open so it'd be exposed to water and dirt brake dust that sort of stuff so I'm literally just giving it a nice liberal coat of of wash there and then what I'll do is I'll let that dry and I'll come back to it when it's dry um, but other than that that's what how I weather my engines um, what I'll, I'll just leaving um, what I get a little bit for the like on the, the nuts there the nut screw holes just blob a bit in there just so it gives the the screws something a bit so, and then I'll just drag the oil around the edges or the the wash whatever around the edges and then when that dries that will dry a nice it'll give it a nice deep thick sort of colour um, again I'll do the same this side just to show you again so on this you've got a few a few bolts there just dab it in into the engine just a bit like that and then when that dries it will dry nice and grimy and dirty that sort of stuff so as if it's looks as if it's just come off of a, a racetrack or it's just been stripped down or whatever um, let me just do the um, carburetors there and I'm not going to do the carburetor mouth just because um, that would be quite polished and where the rider's leg would be it would be um, getting like, it'd be brushed clean on his leathers that sort of stuff all the time so that's how I weather my engines um, I do do it diff slightly differently depending on sort of techniques I'm using and what engines and that sort of stuff I'm doing. If I'm doing a, a factory fresh engine, so something like um, a modern bike or something like that, I, I tend to not go as mad as I've done there. Um, the good thing with, with the Phil Flory washers is that it's water-based, it's a uh, clay wash. So if I put too much on, you get a bit too liberal, and you put a bit too much on, then um, you can just get like a, a cotton bud or a Q-tip, uh, just wet it with your, in your mouth or wet it in a, some clean water and just give it a rub and then that will just take the edge off it a little bit. But, but So apart from that, that is how I weather engines um, and when that's um, dry, that will look pretty spot on and realistic and how I like it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'll just, I've, well, while I was waiting for that to dry, um, I went ahead and um, Put together some sub parts of the 
the bike and the engine. So what I'll do is I'll go, go away, um, find out what colours this sort of stuff is, if I need to do any painting, weather and that sort of stuff. I might even just leave it like that, I think that's very, very nice, it looks very, very nice. Um, and I'll glue it all together and then come back and pipe it, show you how I do my pipe work. Okay, let's see you in a second. So, what I've actually done there, I've been uh, a bit busy off camera. So I've actually got the engine and gearbox separately, I went away and did that, um, just for a bit of, a bit of speed. Um, so now what I'm going to do is just going to um, put the two together. Uh, so what we need, uh, what I did, I'll show you how to do some of these pipes as well. These pipes, are, these pipes can be quite tricky sometimes. Um, right. So the next part, another thing what I was going to show you was that obviously you've got the chrome parts here. <clears throat> you've got a chrome uh, part to go on the front of the engine. So what I do with this, <coughs> excuse me, um, depending on how the chrome actually is. I'll keep the, the, the stock chrome bits on there already. So what we'll do is I will take the chrome off that just needs to be taken off, just the glue. So as you can see, the, the back side of that's quite um, quite shiny. So I'll just take a sanding stick, give it a quick buzz with your sanding stick, like that, until it's completely lost its shine and then just get a touch of your old extra thin give it a bit of a dab and then find out where it needs to be so this is the uh, part of the manifold so as you can see there it actually looks rather nice with the standard chrome on there already um, so we'll do it with the other part here which is the uh, the engine mounts just there. Um, so all I'll do is I'll take these just on there. I'll just take those bits out just a little bit off there. And the same this side, just to, so the glue gets a bite because the glue won't actually bite on this um, on this chrome parts. So it's just a matter of taking one part off. This is 55. So this is the right hand side. Um, finding where you need to get rid of your chrome part, which is just there and gluing it all together. So there and there, because obviously this is part of the uh, the gearbox housing as well. So we just grab the sanding stick, give it a quick buzz, just to take the shine away. Something a bit like that. Just something a bit like that. And then I'll do the same just there on this little notch. The little notch just there. Just take the chrome part away a little bit, just to, for the glue to bite. So a bit like that, and then I'll just go ahead and glue this part to the engine. So, as you can see, this part goes on there like that. Like that. And then the gearbox goes on the back there. So what I'll do is I'll go away and assemble the engine and gearbox and then I'll come back to you with it all completed. So I come back uh, go off screen and did the engine and gearbox and put that together and put the uh, the rear drive sprocket in there. Um, I'm glad I did actually because the um, the mount for the gearbox was a little bit fiddly but once it all clicks into place it's all sat nice and looks pretty good like that. Okay so I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, this kit is a fantastic, fantastic kit, and I really cannot wait to see this bike done. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the the next part of the the Manx Norton. Um, it's coming together really, really well, um, and I'm really enjoying building it at the moment. So tune in next time, where hopefully we're probably getting somewhere near the finish line with this now. Um, so I say, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this one finished. Uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, you guys for the support, uh, your continued support on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. Um, it really does mean a lot, and it, your, your support goes a long way, um, and your kind comments. So I want to thank you guys uh, for that, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.